substitutions um, but the substitutions were upgrades um, they didn't have the bread I wanted but they gave me an upgraded bread and so so far so good work today. I go into work at 11. So. And my husband never met a stranger. He's talking to this girl like he's known her for 20 years. along with us on more adventures. <laughs> well, somebody else is here for a pickup. So, I guess this program works. Experience of grocery shopping sometimes, so but this weekend was not one of those weekends, so didn't get that done. But but my hubby got the kitchen finished. Oh, uh -huh. jeez, we're just a few more cut ins and and places I can't quite reach. <coughs> Which I'm wondering how the 
and I reached it. I reached, I reached up there 15 years ago. I think I climbed up on counters. Yeah, well, you were 15 years I younger. I think I, I think I climbed. On, I think I think I climbed up on counters. Because there's no other way. Because we got some cabinets in a weird place, and like that's painted. Then the new, the, the 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 new, the old new color. So I painted them. Somebody called up on one of them counters. I don't remember. remember. I, I wasn't going to climb up there last night. I was thinking about it, but I'm like, nah, I don't think. But we are on our way to a new kitchen. Uh, yeah, when we get it, when we, when we get it done, done. I'll show you pictures when we get it done, done. But um, the next step is putting up the backsplash. Yay! Okay. I'll take care of that. Yes. The painting. So we can get the painting done, and uh, you can do the backsplash, and then we, we should we should be done, or but close to done. Then, then the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need a refrigerator. Yeah, because our refrigerator. Yeah, you're right. Because our refrigerator works, <laughs> and so you need a new one. It doesn't work fine. This time to sit it on is by the side of the road. You okay? Slow down there, little Kia. <laughs> her car. <laughs> Not her. So, that was actually was a pretty quick experience. We pulled into the number one slot and did the um, little um, the call the phone number and the little girl came out. With she was out before I got done calling. The food was all in a little, you know, in, in containers. She rolled out. Now, something that you might not know, um, apparently we had three substitutions. Yeah, I already told them. Okay, so other than that. And they actually, the, like I was saying, the substitutions were kind of an upgrade because that Sarah Lee bread is more expensive than the one that I had ordered. So. so we'll see. We'll see, you know. We got to unpack it first. Yeah, I think that that's I think that that's probably part of the process too. You unpack and then you you I, I I'm I'm guessing that you base it against the list that you that, that you have at home. I guess uh, to make sure every to make sure everything's there. Um, and I mean, I think if it's not, I'm sure there's a process, but I'm pretty I'm, I'm pretty confident that everything's fine and then we'll put it away and be done with it. So if you've done that, let me know, because uh, we and just did, liked it. and, and it, seemed, it seemed okay. Like Debbie says, she, like she likes going in there and tooling tool around. Not at Walmart. Yeah. I like to do it at Publix and Win Dixie, the okay. new Win Dixie. <laughs> yeah, Walmart is. Walmart is not a, a great experience to me. It's just too overwhelming. I, it, it messes with my anxiety thing. <laughs> it's just too overwhelming. Publix shopping is a pleasure, and Win Dixie, we do Win Dixie a lot more than, than uh, Publix. But um, the newer Win Dixies, they've remodeled, and then once you get used to it, and <laughs> yeah, that's the big joke in the Win Dixie. You find everything, <laughs> and the answer is no. Of course not, because you, cause you keep moving it. You moved it from last week when I was in here. Um, but I think they're settled because they have their Grand opening. Yeah, the grand opening with outbound house, bounce houses and balloons. How in the heck you have a grand opening without bouncy houses? Out? What? Anyway. Um, but, um, no, this particular experience I think is something that I think that you can definitely add to how you do things for sure. Uh, because as far as time goes, it, yeah, I mean, it saves, does saves to go an hour. You know, an hour, maybe two hours, of uh, the whole shopping, the whole shopping thing, where you get up and you go, and I know it sounds like drudgery. We've we've all done it for a hundred years, right? But they're like, oh my God, you got in a car, and you had to go to a grocery store and pick out food, really? Sounds like first world, Third, yeah, sounds like first, first world, world problems, problems to me. Definitely, <laughs> Alex says. First world problems. We are blessed to have the money to go shopping. I mean, so you guys are gonna eat food? Wow. 
Do you just go pick out what you want? Uh, yeah, I know. Truly, first world problems, but it's it you know it's definitely handy. It cuts off um, some time that you can spend doing other doing other stuff. You know. I know if 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 my grandparents come back, I know that going grocery shopping. I remember them going once a month, and it was this big ordeal, and they get to go out and blah blah blah. Um, to for if my grandmother came back and saw that. I sat down at the dining room table with my laptop and I ordered food and groceries and went and picked them up. They would flip off. Well, kind of, sort of, because <laughs> back so back in the day, in some in some places, you know what you would you would go you would actually go to the store and order and and, and leave the the grocery list, and then the grocery boy would gather the stuff up. And bring, it. and bring it to your house. That's true. That's true. So, but not where I grew up. <laughs> I don't know. But so it would be so, so, the, so the concept is not a new concept. The delivery system is much different, where you can just order on your, you know, what order it at home, and then go and then, then go grab it. And they also deliver. They have, but they use. It's funny. I was talking to the little girl, and they use DoorDash. You guys might have already seen DoorDash. Um, they deliver food like Uber Eats, um, but they've had a couple of cases, apparently, where um, the people have dashed <laughs> with the people's groceries, where they have gotten into car accidents <laughs> and not been able to deliver groceries. Um, wow. So... <laughs> people have come up with so many weird things. So, you know what, you, so you door dash to get some groceries for that week. You know, you find somebody who has like 11 crates or a lot of groceries and you just don't deliver it to them. You just take it. So they, they still have to work that piece out a little better. And, yeah. um, but those are people who don't work, for, don't, who don't work for Walmart. Those are, it's, it's, it's a company that, like I said, like Uber Eats or whatever. So they're not Walmart employees. Um, I've heard of that with, uh, Amazon deliveries because of a friend of mine said that her Amazon they got the box and the shoes were not in there. Yeah. Yeah. And they checked and the, the, the person who delivered it took them. That's awful. But you know, it's kind of the the world we live in. It is. It's kind of how how we go, how things go now. But that experience, frankly, was rather pleasant. No, I'm not going to run in front of this truck. Nobody behind the truck for security. Very carefully take my time to do that. It costs us about four seconds. So, anyway. We get to drive on our new street. Oh, they paved the street in front of the house. Yay. First the time in April. First time in 35 years, they tell us. We'll have to see. They were starting to work down on the other half when I was walking. What were they doing? And here we are. We're back here at the house. Talk to you later. See you a little bit.